just don't create that story from the beginning that one day Jesus were, was born and that's the beginning of the story. There's nothing behind it. Well, There's because they over. need the legitimacy of the Torah to tack on their story. So they're using the legitimacy of the Torah to add to their, their uh, uh, prophet or their saint or their story. Very good. But why, why is that that the Torah is considered legitimate enough for either Muslims and Christians to derive their story as the continuity of ours rather than their own. What makes the Torah legitimate enough? Well, it's a historical yeah, it's fairly historical, and, and Abraham is the common progenitor. But that, because the, they use our story, they could use the story of the Babylonians and it wouldn't be. Why, 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 why is our story so, this is, this is, this is, this is the important, the very important point. Why our story so, so le more legitimate than, what, what does make our story more legitimate than others? A historical document. Other people have historical documents too. Huh? Yeah, but it would be if there was not they choose another story it would be five gods and you know they would yeah. go five gods what's what but what may, the, uh, what legit, uh, ownership of, uh, of of israel and jerusalem yeah but the egyptians have their land to this day they never got fell so they could say that their god was better than ours because they they, they, they maintained their land the entire five thousand years the reason why our story was used is because jewish people are the only people in the planet that had a mass revelation. Every single other culture had a dream or an individual revelation or two people got together. You understand? Like, But Judaism did something different. They did our revelation, not in front of one or two people, but did the entire revelation, entire people. When the Torah was given, they said, how do we know in the future because, I mean, if God is going to give us something so important, how do we know that in the future people are going to say, oh, this is baloney, I mean, this is stupid, I mean, I don't know. Mm -hmm. You know they said? People would have heard from their grandparents that they saw it. And this is the truth. That what makes the Torah more legitimate is that from every single revelation was the only revelation, there was a mass revelation. And that, and that gives you legitimacy because I can come and say, God talked to me today. I mean, how often do you hear people is a mass revelation? And then not just was a mass revelation. The values that were in that revelation were way too sophisticated for that people. Yeah. I mean, some of those values are still sophisticated for us thousands of years later. You know, how, how could the ancient people write that? It's not possible. But you don't get those values from other revelations. Other revelations just say, believe me, believe me, believe me. Yeah. <laughs> or either you do what I do or I'm going to behead you. Mm -hmm. That's very convincing, by the way. That's why you have a billion Muslims. <laughs> <laughs> the Ismo is a revelation that said, you know, those are the things. You do that and it works. And how do you know that that is true? Because when you do it, it works. It doesn't matter it's 10,000 years ago, next week or last week. It works. And I think that's that's the legitimacy of the Torah. Yeah. It's not it's not just that it came from God, because maybe God inspired different prophets so we could bring other people to believe in Him. Because I believe I do believe that Christianity and Islam were inspired by God, because there are ways to Judaism. Mm -hmm. They are taking people that were farther from Judaism and bringing them closer. I mean, it's a huge leap. From being even even in the Christian uh, New Testament, uh, they're saying that by being a believer in Jesus, you are grafted onto the to the vine of Abraham. I mean, that's that's literal New Testament scripture. So I mean, you know, went better marketing than that one. That's it. That's it. <laughs> Got better right. endorsement than them saying that. Yeah. And in Islam, over and over, you 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 have that. And if we're not 
for their desire, individual desire for power, and they follow what, what, what they were originally inspired to do, they will be all on their way to Judaism because that, that's, the, that's the only natural tendency to it because it's the, it's the, only, it's, it's the only path that leads to the, what they believe is truth because Christianity doesn't believe that Islam is true. Islam doesn't believe that Christianity is true. The only common denominator is that both believe that Judaism is true. Shalom, we are here today in Tennessee in this beautiful Boone Lake. And Dr. Larry Hudson, we are going to deliver our phrase of the week. From the teaching today, we uh, have been taught that uh, the closest distance to two points is a straight line, not as in the uh, book of Numbers, which sometimes when uh, God's word is not uh, heeded, uh, it can result in 40 years of wandering in the desert. Uh, that's sort of the uh, message we get from the Numbers teaching today. Make sure your journey is no longer than your destination.